Welcome back to 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. We are getting so close to the end now that it's getting kind of sad. We're on day 26 now, and we are going to be talking today and praying for our kids to be leaders. So in relation to others around them, my prayer for my kids ever since my oldest was just a baby in the crib is that they would be a leader among followers. Not that I want everybody else to be blind sheep, but I want my kids to be the ones that eyes turn to, not the other way around. I want them to be confident in who they are. I want them to walk with integrity and in a way that draws people to them, not just for the sake of their glory, because I don't want my kids to be glorified for no other reason, but so that they can point others to God. And Jesus, though, uh, had his own brand of leadership. So I think we need to define leadership before we pray this over our kids. Because a lot of times we think of the qualities of a leader as being, you know, physical strength, um, domineering attitudes. Um, they have to be a type A or they have to be, you know, this, this or that. But Jesus's definition of leadership or his example of leadership was servant leadership. And that can be very different. You can have a type A servant leader. You can have a domineering personality that is a servant leader. And you can have a strong physical person that is a servant leader. So my prayer for my kids and our prayer today for our kids is that they would be leaders and that they would exhibit the qualities that Jesus exhibited and that they would have the mindset of honoring others above themselves. The last shall be first, the first shall be last. And I really believe that that those prayers of people looking to our children as leaders and our prayers that our children would be just incredible servant leaders like Jesus could just really literally transform the world. So I don't think there's ever been a time when our world has been in greater need of leadership and so let's just pray, no matter how old or young our kids or grandkids are, let us pray that God would raise them up as leaders. Father God, we come before you today just with humble hearts. I know that I fall short so much of the time in being a Christ-like leader. Example to my kids, I'm not always a servant leader. God, I just pray that you would transform my own heart, that you would transform our hearts as we seek to be examples of servant leadership to our children, that we seek to be fair and honest and respectful to even the least of these in our care and around us. Father, we just pray that the world standards and values that have polluted our own thinking would just be cast out of our minds in the powerful name of Jesus and that you would replace those things with godly wisdom, with wisdom, not as the world gives, but godly, perfect truth. God, purify our minds that you would see the leaders that you're calling us to be and the kinds of leaders that our children are being called to be through the prayers, the powerful prayers of us today. Thank you so much for not leaving us with no example. We have an earthly example of Jesus, a flesh and blood example that we can look to, that we can follow in this confusing and just hopelessly fallen world. God, we just pray for the leadership qualities of Jesus to be growing in our children. We pray that as you shift the eyes of those around them to them, at the same time, you would be raising them up worthy of that calling, relying firmly on you and you alone. God, that they would have a fierce, lion-hearted leadership that would back down for no one, and yet the tender meekness of a lamb, that they would have the restraint of power tempered with compassion and humility, that they would have a desire to serve and to elevate others above themselves. God, it is only by your grace and your strength that this kind of balance can be understood and can be struck in their lives, but we ask for it, God. We ask for it boldly on their behalf. We know that you can raise up children who fear you, 
who love you and to lead others into your kingdom. God, we pray for protection for those that would lead them astray, that would cause them to question the things that they know are true. And at the same time, we pray that they would be open-minded and teachable, that they would receive godly counsel with humility and teachability that only you can give them. Oh God, we look forward to seeing what you are doing in them and through them. We look forward to seeing the kind of leaders that you are even now raising up all over the world through the faithful prayers of the intercessors. Use us, God, every day, God, use us to lift up our powerful prayers for our kids and teach us how to pray. Teach us how they need to be lifted up specifically. And even in this moment, transform our minds so that we can see our children as they grow and as their needs change and know how we can be praying for them effectively that would reflect your will for their individual lives. In Jesus' name, amen.